Today we are going to try some tricks to give this portrait image more glow and pop with the free app Snapseed and Lightroom. As we are editing a raw DNG file, here in Snapseed we have a dedicated develop menu. Here I am going to reduce the highlights to get as many details from the brighter parts. Also increase the shadows a bit. Bit of contrast. Just a little structure and also saturation. Next I'm just gonna crop the image a little on the left. Now for some selective filters. First one on the face. Increase the brightness, little contrast. Also reducing the structure to make the skin a little smoother. Now to get some pop on the flower, adding saturation and structure. Similarly on the leaves, brightness, more saturation and little structure. As you can see there are a few spots or freckles on the face which are distinct. If you want these to be removed, healing tool can do the job. This works fairly well. Just zoom in as much as possible and carefully tap on these spots to remove them. Also taking time to remove other spots to generally make the skin a little smoother. This also works fairly well to remove tattoos like this. Here's the difference. Now to bring more pop to the subject, I'm gonna apply vintage filter with the black theme for a vignette effect. As the effect has also made the subject darker, I'm gonna remove it with masking. Tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, vintage filter and brush. Here with the effect enabled and the brush value at zero, removing the effect here on the subject. There are still some lines you can see in the background which I will try removing them with the healing tool. Next to further brighten the skin selectively I am going to use the brush tool. With the dodge and burn value at 5, brushing on the darker parts of the face to make them a little brighter. Need to be subtle here, trying not to overdo it. Also on the hair.
zooming in and brushing to give the skin some glow. Here's the difference. Next step is just a little artistic preference to give distinct color to the eyes. With curves adding little brightness and dragging the blue curve left to add some blues. With masking zooming in and applying it on the eyes. Now with the portrait filter adding little more pop to the eyes, selecting the preset eyes 2 here. Tuning the eye clarity give the eyes just a subtle clarity. After some thought using selective filters to give the flowers and leaves more color. Now for some final touches moving to the Lightroom app. First thing in the light menu increasing the whites to make the brightest parts more bright. Also reducing the blacks which gives the image more punch. Now for color tuning in the HS sliders in color menu mix. Tuning the reds and adding more saturation to the flowers and the lips. Oranges which affects the skin tones. Just a little more brightness and increasing the luminance. Some saturation. Popping the greens by moving the hues a little towards aqua. Bit more saturation. Now for the blues which affects the color of the eyes. Playing with the hues to change it a bit. Now for some sharpening, making sure not to affect the skin on the face, moving the masking slider to get only the edges for selection. Adding sharpening to these edges. Finally coming to the curves, adding some contrast to give the face further glow.
and here's the final result. Thanks for watching.